On November 5th, 2024, I hope you're fucking ready for Donald Trump to return to the White House, because it's gonna happen. I mean, all US presidents have been a disaster for the world, but Biden's presidency has been a disaster on the home front too. And I, I mean, I don't really know or care how much of that is actually due to his policies and just due to the global circumstances, but it's happened anyway, and he's being blamed for it. So it doesn't fucking matter. Whoever like defends Biden's legacy or whatever is losing to Trump, 100%. Doesn't even matter if they if they like somehow um put someone forward who denounces Biden but runs as a Democrat, they're still going to be associated with him and they're going to lose because his presidency has been such a massive disaster. Like who can beat Trump? It's not even who can beat Trump because I don't think it even matters if it's Trump or not. Whoever the Republicans run is going to win. It's not really a matter of who can beat Trump. It's just a matter of who can actually win. There's no one. Like the only person who could possibly win is obviously Bernie Sanders still, but this is like the third or fourth fucking time in a row we're saying that. And Bernie Sanders is only to live for so long, okay? Because the thing with Bernie is that he can win the voters that other Democrats have absolutely no chance of winning. You know, Bernie can go on Fox News and win over the fucking right-wing crowd just by talking about left-wing economic policies. No, well, not even left-wing, you know what I mean, like social democratic, let's distribute the spoils more equally between us sort of policies. But AOC, no, AOC can't win, even though she obviously says a lot of the same sort of stuff, but she can't win she would never be able to win over a Fox News crowd, for example, because for one, they've attacked her since literally the second that she's ever she's existed. For two, she's a woman. For three, she's not white. For that, those reasons alone, it doesn't matter if they literally like give her an earpiece with Bernie Sanders on the other side and she repeats everything that he he tells her to perfectly, she would still lose because she is a woman who's been demonized from the very beginning and she's not white. You know, Bernie had an extremely long history as, for one, he's a white guy, he's Jewish, but he's also a white guy, and a very, very long history in politics, an established history in politics that made him, and an established history of opposing the Democratic Party too, which made him more palatable to the right-wing audience, which made it possible for them, even though they obviously think he's an insane old man who's a commie or whatever, it's possible for them to agree with him sometimes. If he says something uncontestable, you know, he can win over the right-wing audience in a Fox News town hall. AOC, no, it doesn't fucking matter what she says. It doesn't fucking matter what she says, because from the very beginning of, of her political career, she has been demonized as like an evil communist socialist who wants to make the frogs gay, and also she's, she's a woman and not white, and also, she was a bartender once. So there's no fucking way. She, no, she can't win. She can't win. I mean, I don't think any Democrat can win. I, I don't necessarily think that the others will lose any less than she will. But the only one who could beat the Republicans in 2024 is Bernie. And he's not going to run. There's no fucking way. And even if he did run, there's no way he could win the primaries because it's the fucking Democratic Party. They wouldn't let him. They would rather lose than let him run. It doesn't matter if you're going to get Trump again. They would rather lose. Can any woman win the presidency? Le yes, a Republican woman. Any Republican woman, any random Republican would win the next election, no matter who the, Dem who the Democrats put out there aside from Bernie. Any of them would win. Doesn't matter if it's Trump, doesn't matter if it's fucking Ted Cruz, who's basically a woman. Doesn't matter if it's fucking Marjorie Taylor Greene or whatever. Doesn't matter if it's Marjorie Taylor Greene and like, like a sex tape of her fucking her personal trainer gets released on like the voting day. Doesn't matter. Any Republican is going to win. The next election. Literally doesn't fucking matter. And I mean, for, the re for those of us in the rest of the world, this doesn't actually matter because they're, they're all the same for us. But for you, for you guys in the USA, it'll probably be worse because of that. I mean, they like to say the problem with Hillary is that she was a woman. But that's not actually the case. The problem with Hillary is that she's a career politician, morally bankrupt career politician who treated like the presidency as if it was like her fucking right because she had paid her dues by being a fucking generic careerist politician. For AOC, it absolutely is that she's a woman because they have like shit on her for that since the very beginning. And not like for Hillary Clinton. For Hillary Clinton, they have to frame her as infinitely more radical than she actually is. AOC isn't radical or anything, but she's still far more radical relatively than Hillary fucking Clinton. Hillary fucking Clinton calls, would call AOC like a communist insane radical and agree with the fucking Republicans on that. So they're not even the same person. They're not the same. Hillary Clinton would endorse a fucking Republican for the presidency if AOC was running with the Democratic nomination, okay? That's how this is. Which is probably for the best. Probably for the fucking best, Hillary. Thank you. But like, on a moral level, it speaks to the absolute fucking bankrupt piece of shit that she is and, who, and the people like her are.